Say hello to Morphe Q. Morphe Q is an equalizer plugin with an emphasis on sound design and creativity. While most EQ plugins focus on mixing, Morphe Q focuses on the creation of novel and inspirational filter movements through a unique animation system. For example, transform this to this. And this? To this. When you first open Morphe Q, you'll notice a simple and inviting UI meant to easily integrate into your existing workflows. The UI can be broken down into two primary areas. At the top, we have a parametric EQ. And across the bottom is a series of macro control knobs meant for morphing and transforming your current equalizer. As with all minimal audio products, you can enable tooltips here for a detailed explanation of each control as you work. Click here to expand the preset dropdown and here to load a random preset. Looking at the EQ area, Morphe Q offers a parametric EQ you likely have experience with while using your DAW or other EQ plugins. Double click to create a point, click and drag the point to position its gain and frequency. You can optionally double click to enter specific values here, change the filter type here, and select the routing mode of the filter point here, including left, right, stereo, mids only, and sides only. Morphe Q also supports undo, redo, as well as cycling through filters and deleting them here. It's worth noting everything you can do by this toolbar can also be accomplished by a hotkeys and right-click context menus on the points. You also have no limit to the amount of filter points you can create. Now that we've covered the conventional EQ aspect of Morph EQ, let's dive into the morph paths and macros. First, I'll reopen the default preset. Let's create a peak filter and explore morph paths. You may have noticed this ring around the filter point. This indicates that a morph path can be extended from this point. Let's go ahead and add one. Simply click and drag with the crosshair to create a new line and point. You can create as many morph points as you'd like and curve them however you see fit. Command clicking will also add a new morph point. With the morph path created, you can now turn the morph knob to modulate the filter across your path. Let's check out some presets which make use of morph paths. You'll notice that as you hover over any point in the EQ which has a hat, you can preview its morph point. Morph EQ offers over 100 presets exploring this novel morph path system. The results are amazing. Whatever type of music you create, Morphe Q has something for you. Aside from the primary morph paths, Morphe Q offers four other powerful macro controls. Use Shift to move all filters in the EQ in relation to one another, similar to a cutoff knob over the entire EQ. Use Pinch to compress and expand the EQ closer or further from the center of the frequency spectrum. This can be very useful for vowel or formant type sounds. Spread offsets the left and right channels while in stereo mode and scale can boost or invert the resonance or peaks of all the filters at once. Morphe Q also features resonance soloing, analog-like adaptive Q scaling, and parallel filter modes. Expand the scale of the EQ range here, adjust input, dry wet, output, and turn on two types of output limiting and clipping here. We hope you enjoy Morphe Q, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our support or leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you.